نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهد له فلا مضل لا ومن يضلل فلا حادي لا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده رب لا شريك لا وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه أما بعد يا مشر المسلمين as we want to come and benefit with a little reminder بإذن الله تعالى and this reminder that we want to benefit from is from the affairs of the lowliness of the dunya the lowliness of the دنيا هناك ثلاثة ثلاثة هي أو ثري أبوت ثلاثة مسكان وماذا الأول الدنيا and the second is من البرزك and the third is الآخرة and this world الدنيا this world the people's life after they are born it was named الدنيا and this is what the people they care for this is what the people they are beefing over this is what the youngins the youngsters the shabab this is what they are beefing over this is what they are in يعني conflict with they are beefing over the dunya the people's life after they are born it was named الدنيا from the arabic words dunu dunu meaning that this worldly life this dunya it means closeness nearness and it is approaching because of the closeness of this world because of the closeness of this world's end that soon that this world will come to an end so you mean to tell me since this dunya it is close or it is approaching it is near you mean to tell me this is what you are beefing over this is what you are fighting over naam ya ayyuhal ikhwah or it was given this name the name of dunya from the arabic words dana'a from the arabic words dana'a meaning inferiority wretchedness lowness base baseness and despicable so since these since this dunya it carries this name of being despicable and lowliness and base baseness since this dunya carries these characteristics you see that the people they are fighting over it you see that the people they are inclined towards it you see individuals killing and arguing over the dunya I had this, this is mine, that is mine, and all of that's yeah, you had nas. So this word at dunya it carries despicable meanings, wretchedness, the individuals, they are ratchets, they are in, they are despicable. These individuals, they are lowly, they are lowly. This is what they crave for, this is what they live for, this is what they are fighting for. So this dunya referring to the wretchedness, this world, this state of being. Call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The life of this world is only the enjoyment of deception. This is why individuals warn against other individuals over the dunya. Don't go here. Don't go there. Don't go to this masjid. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to this student. Don't listen to this da'i. Limada hubbu dunya because of the love of the dunya. Ibn Qatir rahimahullahu ta'ala. He mentions, he commented on this ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Umil hayatu dunya illa mata'ul gurur. Ibn Qatir rahimahullahu ta'ala. He mentions about this ayat, this life is only a form of enjoyment that deceives those who incline to it. Surely those who incline to this life, they will admire it and feel that it is dear to them. So much so that they might think that this is the only life, no life or dwelling after it. Yet in reality, this life is insignificant as compared to the hereafter. So we want to remind ourselves with this fleeing, passing life that is only temporarily and it is only amusement and play. So we want to just mention this so that perhaps it may strike some concern about it that this life is not worth fighting over. This dunya, it is not worth fighting over. This block, it is not worth fighting over or arguing over. Naam ya ayyuhal nas. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala rasulihin kareem wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'een.